painting ideas. The five painting ideas. Number one, a flower pot. Number two, seasonal cards. Number three, tea light holder. Number four, framed keepsake. Number five, a bird feeder or money box. Tips before you begin. Get non-toxic and washable paint. Trust us on this. It will save you heaps of time with the laundry later on. Prepare your craft while the kids are still sleeping. A teacher recently told me that the attention span of a child is their age plus two minutes. So if they're four years old, their attention span is about six minutes. And if it takes you six minutes to set up your craft, they're likely to be already playing with the paints before you're ready to go. And that's not a great scene for you or for them. Oh, and don't forget the wet wipes. Have them ready to hand. You're probably going to need them. Time your craft so that it happens just before either bath time or bedtime. That way you can clean them up easily and you have time to tidy up afterwards. And don't forget, practice good hygiene throughout. The flower pot. You'll need a ceramic pot, some paint, a sealant, some brushes, some soil, seeds of whatever you choose to plant, a paint palette to mix the paints, and an apron to keep the kids' clothes nice and clean. Step one, paint the pot and let it dry. Top tip, if you paint your own pot, they'll likely copy you. Let them get messy and do it however they want. Step two, seal the pot and let it dry. I used Mod Podge, which is available from most craft shops. It's non-toxic and will make your pot waterproof. Step three, fill with soil and seeds of whatever you choose to grow. The best thing is you don't have to just grow flowers. You can plant things that are edible, like cress, and then talk to the kids about healthy eating. Step four, discuss how food is important both for the body and for the soul. You could talk about the shepherd, for example. Ape bij, ape hi kahu. You shall harvest what you plant. Link this to actions. Good behavior gets you rewards for your reward chart. Make it a daily activity. Feed the plant every day with water and simran. Seasonal cards. You'll need a four card that you can fold in half. A5 paper, paint, paint palette, some brushes, some glue or tape, scissors, and it will be useful to have internet access and a printer. Step 1. Tell the sake or explain the event that you are making your seasonal card for. For example, if you're making the sake cards, talk about the sake. What happened? When did it happen? Check out the description below this video. I've put in some useful links of the different Siki events that you could potentially make some cards for. I've also put in some links to help you describe and explain them. Step 2. Paint on the A5 page and let it dry. Kids can paint whatever they want or you can direct them with a printout. Links again below in the description. Step 3. Stick your painted page onto a folded piece of A4 card. Step 4. Write out your message in the card and send it when it's time. Now's the perfect opportunity to teach the children never to write Gurbani inside cards. We should respect Gurbani and not let her touch the floor. Step 5. Put the date in your diary and celebrate it at home too with the kids. The tea light holder. You'll need a glass jar with a wide neck at the top some paint, glue if you want to add any sequins, and the tea light of course. Step 1. Wash and dry your empty glass jar. Make sure the top is wide enough to fit a tea light. Step 2. Paint the jar on the outside, not the inside. Step 3. Put your tea light inside. It can either be a real tea light or it can be a battery operated one. Step 4. 
Talk about what to do in an emergency. Talk about how important it is to look after a naked flame, but also how important it is to look after the light of Vahigru that is inside of everyone. Step 5. Keep your candle either for Bundishur Divas, for Vasaki, or give it to someone as a gift. The framed keepsake. You'll need a frame, some paper to fit the frame, command strips, paint, some brushes, a paint palette and an apron. Step 1. Choose your design. In the description below, you'll find some great ideas of how to convert handprints into pictures. Discuss a Gurbani Tuk that might link in with it. Step 2. Paint your design. You could even add an English translation of your Shabad. But remember, always respect Gurbani. Never let it touch the floor. Step 3. Let it dry and then pop it in your frame. Step 4. Hang it up. You don't have to use a nail and a hammer to do this. You could buy command strips which are removable and protect your wall. They simply stick onto your wall. Step 5. Get the kids to learn the Shabbat. Sing it every time you walk past it. The bird feeder or money box. You'll need a wooden craft box, some paint, some brushes, paint palette and an apron. Step 1. Choose which item you're going to paint. You can pick up small wooden craft bird feeders or money boxes for a few pounds from most craft shops. Step 2. Paint it how they want. It doesn't have to be perfect. Step 3. Talk about what you've made. If you chose the bird feeder, link it in with Godwara Langar. How important it is to serve everyone, regardless of who they are. We should serve the animals too. If you chose the money box, talk about this one and how important it is to give 10% of your earnings to those less fortunate. Step 4. Put seeds in the bird feeder. Put pocket money in the money box. Remind them of your discussion when you do it. But most importantly, have fun. Check out the playlist for more ideas. Make home time fun time. Click the subscribe button below this video. Punjabi Kids TV. In association with Seek to Inspire.